While Ohio is focused in on the end of conference play, it doesn't hurt to know that next year, two more talented players will be joining the Bobcats roster. Abby Gilliland and Karen Bull signed national letters of intent this week. But what is an NLI, you may ask? Well, it's a document committing a student athlete to a university, and these future student athletes will be welcomed to Ohio with open arms. Karen, you know, would be her size would be the first thing to stand out. Um, she's uh, probably 6'3 and really long, like long armed, long legged, huge blocker, big hands over the net. You know, I think what stands out with Abby first is probably her, her competitiveness, her attitude, her presence. I'm very excited for both of them, all, all 2012 recruits to come. For Gilliland, the journey to Ohio wasn't easy, but it's clear that it was right. I had committed previously and things fell apart with that. I committed to St. Louis and things fell apart with the coaches and they left and um, so I, I was kind of like panicking like oh my gosh I have to do recruiting again but then I went on my visit to Ohio and they were so 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 welcoming um, and I knew it was like a volleyball environment that I could see myself in the future. Bull's path was guided by Ohio's coaching staff. Like they just they really helped me make the decision and they helped me through the process. Like they didn't even care. Well, they, they, they cared if I came to Ohio. Like they said like even if like Ohio wasn't the best fit, they helped me like find the school. These players will stand out for more than just their skills on the court. You know, you talk about player personalities, and again, Abby's, uh, her, her voice in the gym, her presence is something that's really important. And then Karin is, is just a real thirst for knowledge. She wants to be terrific. She wants to be better. She wants to learn. And it turns out, Ohio was the perfect fit, and not just for volleyball. It was like, the, when you see all the red brick everywhere, you kind of just know and picture that's what, like, a, a campus looks like. 